good morning. I don't know what just happened. The camera is rolling, it stopped, things flashed up. I've got no idea. How are you today? So I have a topic. Believe it or not, I always have a topic. But something that's come up time and time again, and it's come up really vividly this week. Strengths versus weaknesses. So, what are your strengths? And do you err onto those strengths? Do you just work within that parameter? Do you just work that? I'm going to give a couple of def couple of things I've cropped up in a second. And then, what about your weaknesses? Do you actually work on your weaknesses? Or do you leave them alone? It's an interesting one. I think it's an interesting one. So someone mentioned about the press-ups that I'm doing this week. Well, is that not in balance? Is that not just working on exercises that you 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 like and you're good at? Well, yeah, I love press-ups. But I love press-ups because of the positive aspects of it. However, saying that, what I'm making sure that I'm doing is I'm working on the reverse side of the coin. All of the muscles that the press-ups are not working on, so not to create an imbalance. I'm not avoiding any aspect of what I'm doing. I'm not just doing press-ups and working on the front of the shoulders, the chest, the abs, lower back a little bit, triceps, you know, all of those types of things. And then not working on the legs, not working on the back, not working on the rear shoulders, not working on the biceps, you know. So be 20 minutes in the morning and rowing, I'm going to be quick on it. I haven't even had my coffee yet. The 20 minutes in the morning is a really good counterbalance to the press-ups, doing the press-ups a day. See, now if I wasn't doing the 20 press-ups a day and I was just doing the rowing, that's going to create imbalance as well. In life, not only am I dyslexic, or I have dyslexia, whatever way you want to talk about it, or put it, is I hate stuff I don't like. <laughs> decorating. Don't talk to me about decorating. Try and keep away from it and all, all my passion. So I tend to get some money. Pay someone to do it. However, last year, I did it. I bit the bullet and I went for it. I actually quite enjoyed it. Don't ask is the wallpaper. But the painting side of it was nice. It was therapeutic. I went in there without having that past experience that had tarred me against it. Same when I, about, ooh, 10 years ago, looking at doing my own accounts. Mm, handed over to someone else. Something happened, bad experience. Taking it on board gives you a lot more freedom. Now, it's not to say that you shouldn't get people to be able to do things for you, but avoiding your negatives the stuff that you don't like doing and just focusing on the stuff that you are, you do like doing creates imbalance in your life creates imbalance in your mind and your body and your work and your relationship and all over the place so it's good you don't have to do it all the time but looking at life and looking at right and what do I avoid in life not even asking why do I avoid it what way can I make an impact on that to balance out my life? What way can I... Oh, I didn't used to like cheese and tomatoes, but now I love it. I just tried it one day. I made it one day, and it was brilliant. But it's just trying it without even thinking about it. Doing some exercise that in the past you've just thought, no, but you can look at it in a different dimension. What am I getting out of it? Not whatever, what is it taking from me? So make your strength stronger by working on your weaknesses. If you have no weaknesses and you only have strengths, how much more powerful would you be? Have a great day on that thought. Bye now.